Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be polishing and ceramic coating my new carbon fiber boot. You may have seen that I just picked this up in a previous video. So yeah, I picked this one up. I um, actually got it off my friend Justin, who has a YouTube channel, which is Juzzy Evo X. I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, so I got this off him and he didn't have it on the car for long. Um, so it's pretty new but after fitting it and sort of putting it under some lighting i realized it's got a bit of a haze to it also has quite a few swirl marks in it that i just wanted to get out so i wanted to polish it and recoat it it has he has already actually ceramic coated it previously but i just thought yeah i've got a bit left of my car pro c quartz uk so i thought i'd recoat it also I wanted to fix up some high spots on the rear guards where the wing used to cover so when I ceramic coated my car, I stupidly forgot to lift the boot up when wiping off. So I left these high spots here. They don't really show up in camera as much, but in person, now that the wing is gone, they do. So yeah, today I'll just be decontaminating, claying and polishing and then recoating the carbon boot. So hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first step here was just to give it a quick wash. So yeah, I'm just doing the spray bottle method for washing. I didn't want to bother bringing my pressure washer out, getting the foam cannon and everything. Uh, I didn't want to fill up a whole bucket of water or anything, just do this one panel. And the car's already pretty much clean. So yeah, I've just got my um, CarPro microfiber wash mitt, just the garden hose to wet it, and some... NV Snow um, car shampoo in the spray bottle, diluted 1 to 10. So yeah, this is how I actually wash my car usually. Um, there is a video on my channel of how I wash my Evo and this is the way I do it. Definitely the cheapest and easiest way I've found. Um, so yeah, just giving it a quick wipe down so I can um, move on to the claying stage. So. Yeah, it is, like I said, it is actually already ceramic coated, um, as is the rest of my car. So it does look good, it does sheet water well, um, but yeah, I just wanted to get rid of that haze out, so unfortunately to do that, I'm going to have to polish the whole thing, which will remove the current coating that Justin put on the car. Um, so yeah, I will just give it a quick clean, and then we'll get the clay out, and see if we can... Um, put a dent in the coating with just the clay. Right, so now I'm going to use a clay lubricant, which is the NV Purifier. Uh, this is a iron remover slash clay lube. So it doesn't have any iron on there, obviously being pretty new and kept pretty clean. But just why not use this um, instead of just normal soap, since I have some. So using this with the Bowden Zone claying rubber. Um, and yeah, give it a quick clay. There's not really any contaminants on there, but um, yeah, this uh, NV spray product I used is a iron decontaminant slash sort of wax and sealant remover. So obviously as well as having the ceramic coating on the car, I did spray a bit of a sealant on there. So yeah, I just thought I'd, you know, before polishing, try and get everything off um, as much as possible. So yeah, I just went over the areas that I'll be polishing with this claying rubber didn't really seem to need it. It was pretty smooth. There was no sort of gritty areas that you could feel the clay um, kind of fighting against. But yeah, just to be safe, um, thought I'd do this step as you always should before polishing. All right, now that we've cleaned and decontaminated, I'm um, just gonna quickly dry the boot off and any other areas that got a bit of water on them. 
Uh, the carb was already clean, so yeah, I didn't need to clean the rest of it. So yeah, I'm just going to dry it off. I'm going to actually turn the car around and reverse it into the garage so I can move on to the polishing stage. Okay, so now the car's reversed into the garage. Um, it's been washed and decontaminated and dried. Um, with this detailing light, in person I can actually see a lot of the haze and some of the swirls that are in the, the clear on this carbon boot. Um, it doesn't seem to pick up on camera as well, but they're definitely there and yeah, I would like to try and get them out. Now I'm not going to go crazy with this because I don't have a paint depth gauge or anything like that. I'm not a professional detailer, I just enjoy cleaning my cars and have you know, recently taught myself how to polish and ceramic coat, which I did on both mine and Letitia's cars. So since I, since I have the polisher there, I have some coating left over, I thought I'd do it again. But yeah, I'm not going to go crazy, I'm just going to use a light finishing polish on this. Like I don't want to do a heavy cut or anything like that. I don't want to take too much clear off. So yeah, I'm just going to go over it lightly and see if I can just get this looking a little bit better before I recoat it. Okay, so for the polishing stage, I'm just using my ShineMate Dual Action Polisher, a ShineMate uh, finishing pad and the NV or Concourse uh, Finesse Finishing Polish. Now I'm just definitely starting off with this step. Um, I do have a heavier, like a compound that I can use, but really this shouldn't need much. So I'm just gonna do a little tiny test section with this first. So yeah, just put a couple of dots down on the pad, uh, work those in gently. I'll just do a couple of kind of crisscross patterns with the polisher. And then I'll just check out to see if that's going to be enough of a cut to finish it off. Okay, so we've got the polish worked in. Let's grab a clean microfiber towel and just sort of wipe off the excess polish and see how it's uh, looking just after that quick little pass with the polisher. And just straight away, I can see a massive difference. Uh, it looks just way better immediately. So definitely not gonna go anything heavier. It just really needed that light little bit of a polish just to get those sort of swirl marks out. This little section of paint here on the guard that I had to redo to get that high spot out just made that colour really start to pop again. Um, so yeah, really happy with the finish here. This is definitely all I'll be doing. I'm not going to need anything more aggressive. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll mask off a little section on the other side here um, and I will just show you the difference it makes because uh, I didn't really mask off here. I just started going with the polisher. So yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can get a sort of shot to show you the difference from before and after. Obviously before you start polishing and after each section you do, you want to use some sort of uh, isopropyl alcohol um, type spray, so Carperol Racer or any other brand that makes a sort of polish oil removal spray. So yeah, make sure you go over, get up all the oils and dust and anything that's left. But yeah, you can see here it just looks absolutely amazing compared to what it did. Um, probably doesn't show up in camera as much how bad it was. Not that it was that bad, but just the improvement that it's made. So yeah, I'll, I'll set up a little side section and show you the difference. 
Okay, so this side over here we've already done. The middle kind of got a little bit done. Um, but this here is untouched, and just next to it is basically untouched with the polisher. So yeah, working this in here, I'll put a little bit of tape there just so you can really see the difference once I finish. And like I said at the start, I'm also getting a little bit of the side guard at the top just to get rid of that um, high spot of ceramic coating I originally left there. So yeah, I'll work this section in, and I'll peel back the tape, and I'll show you how that looks. Alright, so I've moved that tape line off that I had. Um, this is the section here that I just did. And the other side is the section that I haven't touched yet. So it's a massive difference, mainly in person. Um, you should be able to see a little bit of difference in video, but yeah, just even without the light, I can see the difference. Uh, it's a lot shinier and clearer where I've polished. It just has a little bit of haze in the middle still where I haven't put the polisher yet. So yeah, you can see the the dot of the light when you sort of see the reflection is just perfectly smooth on one side and the other side is just a bit more white so yeah very happy with it I'm just gonna finish off this middle section I'll uh, do the bottom of the boot and then it's time to move on to the ceramic coating all right guys now time for the coating I've finished polishing what I'm using is CarPro C Quartz UK 3.0 I just have a tiny bit left in this bottle uh, I've got a fresh microfiber cloth there and obviously the applicator pad um, so yeah I just need to put a small strip onto the applicator pad and then you're ready to start polishing so make sure you obviously shake it up before you use it especially if it's a bottle that's been sitting for a while like mine has been um, then you just need to just pour a light line basically on it um, unfortunately the video stuffed up here so everything that I tried to show you of how to ceramic coat is gone um, so yeah what you need to do is just pour it onto the suede applicator and do straight lines um, north to south and then east to west is so sort of a crisscross pat pattern um, you leave it for one to two minutes until it starts to haze and then you wipe it off um, and then it'll basically look a lot shinier and glossier so this is the end result here. Um, really unfortunate that my GoPro died while I was filming, I didn't realize. So yeah, as you can see now, it's polished, it's coated, it looks completely transformed. Uh, the side of the guard there that I did as well. And yeah, this is two coats of the CarPro C Quartz UK ceramic coating. Um, yep, yeah, done the whole boot did it in sort of two sections, I did the top part first and then the bottom part um, came back an hour later and did the second coat for each and yeah wiped those off so I could not be happy with how this looks now it just is so glossy and shiny the carbon really pops um, so yeah if you have a carbon boot or bonnet or any sort of larger panel it's definitely worth coating them. Um, my car sees a fair bit of sun so I want to make sure this carbon boot stays looking its best. So yeah unfortunately that is the end of the video. Um, really annoyed that my GoPro cut out all the actual coating part. I will try and make another video on coating as I do want to recoat my bonnet at some point. But yeah that's um, that's going to be the end of the video there. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I will catch you guys next time.